Hello, my soccer universe. I'm sorry. I know I should be up already, but um, I watched the game yesterday. I'm still so sick that I'm pulling myself together to make this video now. I don't feel great. Let's put it that way. Even now I have uh, without glasses because when I wear them now, they hurt me. But still, I want to give you my thoughts on the game. Um, but before that, I uh, want to make a quick in memoriam to uh, English goalkeeping legend Gordon Banks. I may do a video on that one a little bit later, but at the time he was one of the greatest goalkeepers of all time. He made one of the best saves that the World Cup has ever seen. And he is the winning World Cup winning, only World Cup winning English goalkeeper. So that's enough to differentiate him from many, 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 many others. But let's talk United against PSG. And I'm not pulling because I'm still with my sick clothes and I don't want to uh, wear a shirt. But over there, that's a PSG jersey. Not what they're wearing these days. This is how it should look like. Just as a reminder to everyone. Uh, this is to me the perfect PSG jersey, by the way. Uh, I have a video about it. I absolutely love it. Not so much in love with PSG uh, these days as I was uh, maybe 10, 20 years ago. And Neymar, Neymar and Qataris have a lot to do with that. But to be honest, a Neymar-less PSG put in a pretty darn good performance yesterday that I didn't think they have in them. And actually, I liked that a lot. And I will make not any qualms about it that I was actually happy with the PSG win. Jersey matchup, let's talk about that first. Um, while I said this is a PSG jersey, um, I honestly have to say that the white uh, Jordan kids don't look that bad. I just wish that the pattern they have here on the back was also on the front and then instead of black they use a, at least a navy blue. Then I think uh, this would be a really, really decent shirt. But the white one looks a lot better uh to me than the black one mainly because white is a color uh that psg uses it is in the color scheme and they have been using uh white away jerseys for quite a while so that didn't look too horrible the game itself was pretty intense and i think from the get-go you could tell that united wants to press high really disrupt psg get their momentum that they uh went in with going and I mean, the storyline had so much changed when um, when the draw was made, Mourinho was still the coach, and everyone thought this is a walkover for PSG, and then Mourinho is fired, Manchester United gets some momentum going, have now uh, 9 wins in 10 games prior to this match, uh, and look really strong, Pogba is in excellent form, so uh, that was all you could hope for. Uh, on the PSG side, everything is going pear-shaped. Not only uh, do you have the injury to Neymar once more, you also have uh, an injury to Cavani just before the game. You have a weird contract dispute with Rabio, which uh, seems very petty. So, you know, many things were not going well for PSG, and you actually had some losses in the league. And at that point, you always thought, mm, they're maybe they're kind of even. Although you never knew, I mean, the big wild card in all of this was that the um, uh, Manchester United defense has only been tested once, and that was against Tottenham, where by some miracle uh, they hung on and didn't uh, give give up a goal. On the other side, you never knew what the um, midfield for PSG is going to do, because Verratti was uh, injured, and you could see yesterday that, yes, he played well, but he was not on top of his powers either. And I guess this is what they wanted to make use of. I mean, uh, the first 15 minutes, PSG had a real hard time having continuous possession without being uh, uh, troubled by Manchester United. And United had a few half chances. Um, this was the time even United would have, would have made the goal then. This could have maybe uh, pulled the game in their direction. But... Um, it was also a super intense game and it was not helped that the referee uh, dished out yellow cards left and right. I think we had six yellow cards in the first half, which was the record for first half in a Champions League round of 16 matchup. And you could even tell there will be someone sent off and 
it was almost Pogba, then uh, Ashley Young, uh, although that should have given when he he did not really check uh, the, the, the Maria in, 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 in the side. It was a, a regular attack and it went unfortunate for Di Maria. Um, but I think, uh, who, who was it from here? I think, yeah, Kim Pembe also made a few tackles when he already had a yellow and he got the first yellow where you really had to say mm, he was lucky to stay on the pitch. And yeah, after United had the initial chances and dominance, you could see that PSG is a little bit clawing back and is getting a little bit more into the game. And it can be both first a uh, slight change in the tactical approach, but also that United cannot keep up this insane press that they did. It was a really insane high press. Uh, I mean, they attacked uh, players right at their own box, more, more or less. And there were situations where, yeah, you needed a cool head to get out of it. But then there were actually two scenes that were uh, flagged offside, uh, both involved uh, Mbappé, where you could see how dangerous PSG can be. Uh, if they play the pass right, if the timing is right, uh, both of those chances should have been actually goals. Uh, I think the one was then uh, uh, Di Maria was too fast and rounded the goal goalkeeper, which is not his forte. Uh, if he had a little bit more vision, he would have seen Mbappé. They were two on one. Uh, or two on the goalkeeper, more or less, but both were offside, so it didn't really count. And the first chance that Mbappé had was also by a fraction offside. But you could see that uh, PSG is a little bit more in the game and is definitely the more dangerous team. Um, but it was very even, very intense, and uh, quite, quite honestly interesting to watch, although there were not clear goal chances. I think it was 3-2 in uh, goal chances for Manchester United. All of that changed at halftime. Uh, I expected more of the same, but what followed was a period of absolute domination by PSG. A period where they could have scored four or five goals. That it was only two was to me uh, almost a missed opportunity. I mean, Kimpembe made a great goal from a corner of Di, Di Maria, uh, a volley slot at home. Honestly, uh, this control by a defender on the ball uh, is amazing. I mean, it's from a short range. He's kind of jumping into it and taking the foot uh, slow, slowing in. It was a really, really well taken goal. Um, shortly after, Dani Alves with a shot that was just deflected. I mean, I think most uh, saw that one already going in. I'm still wondering why Dani Alves is playing, but you know, uh, the problem with PSG is that they have a lot of to me, they have, have a lot of old players that shouldn't be that much around them. I mean, uh, yeah, Buffon is still a good one. Uh, Dani Alves seemingly has his uh, great games, but to be honest, I think Dani Alves has not been, to me, a great player for at least five years anymore. But, you know, I might be wrong. He might win another Champions League this year. And yeah, so it goes. Uh, that there was another move by Di Maria, uh, who placed a uh, cross in, and you can see Mbappé's speed. He starts behind a few defenders, gets through them, slots the ball home, 2 0, game done. There was a short period then after that, where again there could have been one or two more goals, and then the game settled again, and it was United who tried to get a goal but without really having any danger. Uh, towards goal and in the end PSG played it home rather safe and it's a result that no one really expected. I think one turning point and I forgot to say it was in the first half the two players that gave PSG a lot of problems uh, went out injured especially Jesse Lingard uh, could not be replaced accurately yeah and I should have said this in the first half this was for me I thought this did this, this, this when, when I watched it this is where, where maybe the game could turn because the thing with Lingard is, is not that he's necessarily fast, but the way when he has the ball, he quickly processes it and uh, has a good, good idea. And for some reason, Nita Sanchez, uh, who came on for Lingard, and uh, I'm forgetting the name now, Juan Mata necessarily uh, do have that. Martial was the other one, although I didn't see too much from Martial. Uh, to be honest, but he was the other one who went off injury. So you had two attackers 
and if you're already shaky in defense and you could see the Pogba had a really hard time getting the game together and yeah uh, they had a really hard time keeping it together because Pogba made a I guess the, he got a second yellow and was sent off uh, that challenge was not necessarily yellow worthy but he had a few challenges before where he should have gotten a yellow so I think it was just by accumulated but yeah PSG who would have thought that they uh, will have it so easy at United. Getting a 2-0 win is a huge result for them. The other game uh, was not as exciting from all I could tell, uh, especially the first half, there was, but there was just a post hit by Dzeko and it needed Zaniolo to actually get things going and he scored two goals in short period of time, I think in 70th and 76th. Uh, the first one really nicely taken, the second one Another rebound of the of a shot by Jacko that went uh, towards the uh, goalposts. Thought at home it seemed like really nice uh, two 0 for Roma. That Roma goes through, but a few minutes later uh, they give up a goal to Lopez, seventy eighth, uh, basically right after Saniolo scored the second. And uh, yeah, that keeps Porto more or less in the game. And you know, you never know. Porto is a really, really tough out for anyone. So, and the only thing is, are they more concerned about the Portuguese championship? Remains to be seen. Anyway, Zaniolo is a name that we'll hear again, I'm pretty sure. Uh, he has been nothing but spectacular for Roma, and that Inter let him go for Nine Golan is one of the big mysteries. Uh, that was a guy that was meant to be. A youth star up and coming and yeah I think if it's right in at Roma. Roma has a lot of youth players that are well. Let me know what you thought about those games. Uh, again I think I'm overall happy with both results. Uh, I cannot believe saying that but I think uh, without Neymar I'm more willing to give PSG credit. They really played it well and when I looked at the squads and compared them I thought even without two really superstars, probably the number two and number three on the team uh, I think Mbappé is the big one. This is a really good squad. This is a really good squad. And uh, is it could they win the Champions League in this formation? I'm not so sure. But it looked better than the one for Manchester United. And yeah, <laughs> now Pogba will not have his outing in Paris, which is another thing. I think uh, it looks it's a steep hill. For United. Again, let me know in the comments what you watched, how you thought uh, things are going. Sorry, I'm really uh, all stuffed. My head is spinning. I'm barely keeping it together, but I really want to make this video. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of these. I'm planning to make one more uh, about um, with to uh, today's games. And yeah, I will talk to you soon. I'm going to lie down. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that might be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates on my channel, all things my soccer universe. And with that, I want to wish you a wonderful day.